and welcome back to Astroway's yearly astrology forecast part two. Today we have Cancer, Leo and Virgo. Cancer is one of those signs that you don't hear very often. When you ask somebody what's your sign, you rarely hear, oh, I'm Cancer, or rarely hear them initiate the conversation. I'm Cancer, hey, what's your sign? What's yours? What's yours? What's yours? No, they're quite low profile most of the time. They don't think about themselves very often. They mainly think about their family, the parents. If they got a piece of biscuit, they first ask who else wants it in the family. They're very selfless, very kind, always thinking about other people's needs before theirs. 2023, cancers are getting more and more competitive. You feel very passionate and motivated, either at work or school. You put a lot of pressure on yourself to prepare either an exam or a presentation, or to start a new chapter at work. There's no time for you to relax. Even if you want to relax, you feel like there's a strong power pushing your back, pushing you to move. This voice keeps telling you, get up and work. But that's a good thing. That means you're inspired. You come up with new ideas. You've opened up your horizon and boom, you realize actually there's a lot I can do. Especially after March this year, you feel the pressure is on. And like I said, most cancer people aren't very out there, everywhere type of people. They're more like keeping themselves to themselves. But this year, I'm sorry, I don't think you can keep yourself to yourselves anymore. You're gonna have to be more sociable. Because of the pressure you have from work, you feel like you need to get to know more people that can potentially benefit you and your business. It's time to think more about yourself than other people. Think about what you really want, not what your family expect you to have. Ask yourself, what do you see yourself in five years? Do you want to keep doing this job or are you up for some challenges and changes now? You may find it hard to make the decision or even after making the decision, you still have so much doubt about yourself thinking, am I made the right choice? But if you choose to accept the challenge, then you find yourself leveling up after this period of doubting yourself. You find yourself in a much better position and you'll be happy about making the decision to accept the challenge. Challenge is only temporary. Challenge is there for you to see that at the end of the tunnel, there's a victory waiting for you. But keep in mind that when I said challenges, I didn't mean risks. I'm not saying you can take risks and work towards the goal. No, challenge is the one you prepared for the one you find it hard to do, but after all the effort you made, now it's time to do it. After mid-year going towards the last quarter, you start seeing the reward, especially financially. You find all the hard work will be paid off. Cancer people are very calm and rational people. I believe you know the best what you want in life. So that's it for cancer. Next is Leo. Leos are very proud people. They always make sure they're the best in what they do. If they can't make sure if they can be the best or not, they'd rather not do it at all. They don't like being challenged. They don't like playing games that have no guaranteed winning. But at the same time, Leos love looking after others, especially the poorer ones, the ones that aren't as skillful as them, the ones that need them, also pets, kids, etc. It makes them feel like they're more capable, have more power. Leos are also one of the most sociable signs. They get along with everyone. As long as you don't offend them, as long as you don't make them feel low, they're your best friends forever. So what's gonna happen to Leos this year? Most Leo people had some traumatic experience last few years, especially career-wise, financial-wise, relationship-wise. 
this has cooled down a bit this year and you fully recover from it this year, either leaving some traumas or fixing them. So that's good news. You don't struggle anymore. You either like, you know what, this relationship doesn't work anymore. This job doesn't fit me anymore. I'm leaving it for good. Or you'd be like, you know what, I see the problems in there and I'm going to fix it because I still like this job or I still like this person. And I can see a future in there. So this is the main question you need to think this year, whether to fix things or leave them and have new starts. So take your time and have a think. It may take up to the first half of the year. It's okay. It's better to deal with it now or later. Also for Leos, there are some job opportunities popping up in the second quarter of the year. Some of you may want to quit your job because of what I just mentioned earlier, want to leave it for good, but be careful of signing any important deals. Watch out for anyone that may want to hurt you or benefit from you. Most Leo people always see the best of others and would be a bit careless when someone stabbed them in the back. Do watch out this time and protect yourself from any kinds of danger. Most Leos find themselves start settling down in relationships, start a new family or have babies, mostly in the second half of the year. Make sure you have good communication with your partner and be patient. Also financial wise, you may come across situations that makes you have to spend a lot of money on. There's some tension in there especially during mid-year. Don't waste your money on unnecessary things. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get the stuff that you really need later on. Also be careful if someone wants to borrow your money or ask you to invest in something you've never heard before. Make sure you keep your eyes open when it comes to money. Anyways, 2023 is gonna be less challenging than the last few years. Less dramatic, more analyzing, organizing, and realizing what's the best for you and your future. That's it for Leo. Now let's talk about Virgo. Virgo people are famous for being perfectionists. They want everything to be perfect. They were born with some level of OCD. They do things in a certain way and it's hard to break their routine. Like for example, there's a bottle of soy sauce always put in a certain way with the label facing left. Virgos will tend to maintain that soy sauce in the same position every time after they use it. One day, one person comes in and used the soy sauce and put it back with the label facing right. Virgos will be like, ooh, no, I want to spin the bottle and make sure the label is facing left again. It doesn't have to make sense. Sometimes they're just stuck in a routine and they keep doing it. That's the funny thing about Virgos. Virgos can also be quite competitive. As they're perfectionists, they tend to seek for perfection whenever they do a job. Same as Leo, they both want to be the best out of the group. The difference is Virgos may not be as sociable as Leos. So when it comes to business, Leos usually win by convincing clients and Virgos usually win by showing their skills and the quality of the products. So for Virgos, I have to say the last few years, you must have been through hell in your career life. Saturn stayed in your sixth house for about two and a half years. It brought great challenge to your career, but even though there was great challenges, but I believe most Virgos are in a much better position than before those challenges. That's what Saturn always brings. It always gives you challenges, but it also gives you a level up at the end of it. As Saturn leaving your sixth house in the beginning of March, you feel some relief gradually in your career. But wait, where's Saturn going next? In your opposite house, the house of relationship, Virgos now may have to face challenges in their relationship life. You may relook at your relationship or marriage 
you start feeling tired. You start thinking, is that the person that I want to be with for the rest of my life? You start having doubts and second thought about whether you should give up this relationship or not. You start thinking about yourself. What do you actually want? The pressure you have in life may also affect your judgment, and some of you may decide to get married and start a family. This is like a turning point in your relationship life. But no matter what your decision is, remember. Saturn always brings you light at the end of the tunnel, even though this tunnel may be a bit long. But there's so much to learn in the meantime. Okay, guys, that's all for the second part of the astrology forecast 2023. If you want to have your yearly chart reading with me, you can email me at astroways.info@gmail.com or find me on Facebook at Astroways. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to know more about metaphysics, please subscribe my channel, and I can be updated.